Greetings, Internet friends. Welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the Internet Lifestyle Show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real-life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Hey, Internet friends, Magic Brad here again, Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative. And I'm here with a new friend. His name is Hugh, and the last name is Little. Are you there, Hugh? I am. Hi, Brad. I'll bet you get that huge little thing a lot, don't you? Yeah, mm -hmm. every now and again. So was your middle name Middle? I don't think so. I'm just joking. Okay. <laughs> you haven't heard that one, have you? <laughs> no. Okay. So where are you located? I live in Sebring, Florida. Florida. It's cold down there, I hear. It's the very <laughs> best part of Central Florida. And yeah, it got down to 65 the other day, and all the natives broke their parkas out. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, well, I'm up here in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and it's supposed to get really cold this weekend, but we're used to it. We can deal with it. I'm originally from Colorado, so um, I'm enjoying the time down here without shoveling snow or driving in it. Got it. So um, I, I noticed the red hat, and I've noticed that in all of your brand, your marketing and stuff, so your branding is very good. That's very, very cool. Is, is, that, is yeah. there, there a significant to the red hat? The business, Red Cap Sales Coaching, was actually named for the cap, not the other way around. And the cap actually came first. And there was a branding guy who sat me down over a cup of coffee one day and said, if you came into a networking meeting or went any place without your red hat or with a different colored cap, nobody would know who you are and you need to brand that. Yeah. And we talked about the red caps on the trains way back when that, that they kind of became synonymous with good customer service. And I, the branding guy was about my age, and I wasn't sure that the younger generation would really relate to that. I understood that. So I talked to a younger marketing guy that I knew, and he said, oh, retro is in. Mm -hmm. And I was so happy that I was retro instead of old and in instead of out. <laughs> We went with the brand, and it's been a great one. People don't necessarily know who I am, but they recognize the cap from social well, that's, media. Well, that's definitely a way to thing. do it. There used to, I mean, when you got that image, like uh, in the internet marketing world, in that thing called Empower Network that I'm no longer involved with, there was a guy that was the furry hat guy, and he always wore one of those big furry hats. So whenever you walked to a convention, you knew that, that guy. And, and you need that kind of thing to brand yourself on the internet these days. That's why I use Magic Brad to separate myself from the Brents and the Brandons and the Bradleys and the others. So it's working for you. <laughs> so what is it that you do? What does the cap do or the brand? Well, the, the cap probably, like you said, your hair is on fire. So that probably contains all the fire. <laughs> no, what, what do you do for work? Yeah. What is it? What is your, uh, how do you help people? Well, I've been selling for the last 46 years. And about eight years ago, I decided that it was time to start teaching people what I had learned over that 46 year period of time. At, at that time, it was uh, almost 40. Okay. And I call myself the sales wizard. And I call myself that not because uh, I think I'm all that. I call myself that because in that 46 year period of time, I've made every mistake in the book. And I've experienced coming away from sales conversations without a sale over and over and over again and feeling so frustrated and so depressed and having sales managers get after me because I hadn't made any sales for so long. And through the years, through trial and error, and it took a long, long time for me to really figure out the keys to being tremendously successful in selling. And I had some mentors along the way, some people who helped out. Finally got to the point where I was really, really good at selling. And I didn't have to experience that frustration anymore. And way more than half the people that I talked to bought. And I started my coaching business because I wanted to help people 
have that success without having to go through all of the time and all of the heartache and all of the struggle that I did to learn how to do that. So my clients actually become sales wizards in a very, very short space of time. Mm -hmm. And uh, they learn how, in fact, what we advertise is that you can double your sales and your income in 90 days or less. And that's happened so many times with our clientele. And we're so sure of it that we actually guarantee it. If you do what you're taught to do and you don't double your sales and income in 90 days or less, then you get your money back. Well, that's a Just that's a great that. guarantee. But let me let me ask you a question because, I mean, I'm almost sixty years old, so I've been around this stuff pre-internet, and things have changed. And now I think they're coming full circle. Um, are you experiencing that when you teach someone how to sell? Uh, maybe someone that has not experienced pre-internet stuff. Are they like, no, you got to have a landing page, and it's got to have a pop-up, and is there? Do they do you? experience those kind of people and have a hard time breaking through that old mindset? Landing pages and pop-ups and social media and the internet, websites, all those kinds of things are simply marketing tools to get you to the point where you're ready to have a conversation with somebody offline. And especially if you're selling a big ticket item, uh, as I do, you have to have a personal conversation. You right. have to build rapport. You have to give people the opportunity to know like you, like you and trust you, which is the purpose of the show that you do, right. is to acquaint people with, with various folks. Well, that's refreshing to hear that in that uh, so many people are just throwing out a landing page and expecting, they, they expect people, and there's some people are training people that this is how it works, that you just click this and it goes through a funnel and then you click into that campaign and then they buy something Ta-da! and it doesn't work that way you know uh, and uh, if you unfortunately have something really low priced it can work it can but it's uh, but, if, but if you're offering a service and that service is valuable and you're asking people to invest yeah a, a larger amount of money to take advantage of that there is no way that people are going to buy that without having that conversation without knowing who you are without have, building some trust in you. But I've even so, found that the efficacy of the, the low-priced items, it still takes that no like, and trust thing. Like like Amazon and eBay, they're rocking because they're known. But somebody that just throws a thing out there and says, buy my new course, it takes some time to get that branding and that recognition like you're doing with the red hat and all that kind of stuff. It takes some time. And uh, it's refreshing to know that that's what you're looking to do is... Uh, establish and it takes it takes time and what most people are doing is like I did an, an interview last week and the lady said that it's kind of like going to a nightclub and you run across the room and you kiss a girl on the mouth without even saying hi you know it doesn't happen that fast you don't that just... was my goal in high school and <laughs> sometimes sometimes it didn't <laughs> That's I suppose. Right. you know there, there's another there's another element and I'm glad that that you brought the the subject up of the old days versus the the new way of selling. Because in the last five to seven years, things have evolved tremendously in selling. And what I really believe with all of my heart, Brad, is that as salespeople, as the sellers of our products or services, it's not our job to get our prospects to do what we want them to do. It's our job to help them do what they want to do. Mm -hmm. So the purpose of having a sales conversation is not to get somebody to buy. The purpose of the sales conversation is to find out about your prospective client. Right. Find out what they think, how they feel, what their challenges are, what their goals are, what they'd like to have in, in their life or their business that's not there yet. What do they want to get rid of that's there now and they don't want it? Which kind of segues me into my next question, and that is, do you have something like that that you offer that kind of lets person do, you know, dip their toe in the water and kind of get to know who you are? Do you have a a program that you offer somebody to test it a little bit before they commit? As a matter of fact, uh, people can go to bit.ly, that's B-I-T dot L-Y slash Hughes Calendar. And they have to capitalize the H in Hue and the C in Calendar. Mm-hmm. Bit.ly slash Hughes Calendar. 
you can book an hour with me and you can pick my brain. You can ask me questions, talk about your business and your sales. Uh, you'll get some great tips and strategies and ideas that you can take and um, just apply in your business right away. And there's absolutely no charge for that session. There's no obligation and there's absolutely no pressure at all. Okay. At the end of our conversation, if you think that my coaching would be valuable to you on an ongoing basis, then you can let me know that and we can talk about that. Perfect. Other than that. Well, it's cool. it's before, um, before I ask my favorite question that I like to ask, and there are some people that have seen these things, they know what my favorite question is. And uh, could you express how do we get a hold of you? How do we find you online? Do we just type in guy with the red hat or <laughs> how do we find you online? You can go to redcapsalescoaching.com. Okay, that's easy enough to remember. Red Cap Sales Coaching. coaching. Got it. Dot com. Yep. And, uh, of course, the easiest way is just to schedule some time and have a friendly conversation with me. Exactly. And if you would like to, um, you can follow me on Facebook. I do a lot of stuff on Facebook. And if you go to followmagicbrad.com, you can connect with me on Facebook, and then we can... Uh, propagate stuff there too because i've been doing a lot of cool stuff with facebook because it's that's where everybody is you know so super i'm on linkedin and facebook and twitter so you can yeah let's there reconnect well. there too cool so here's my favorite question and then we'll sign this thing off but it's the big why question why is it that you do this sales training thing and why aren't you like a you got the caps maybe you're a deer hunter why aren't you like a horse trainer or why aren't you like a rodeo star or something why why, why, why don't you retire? Why, why are you doing this? Well, I haven't retired, even though I'm 68 years old. I am middle age, okay. and <laughs> I realize that half my life is gone, but I'm planning to make the second half really count. Yay. And, and my goal is to die at age 125, shot by a jealous husband. Okay. So the reason I do what I, what I do is because, first of all, it's so much fun. I just love teaching salespeople and, and helping them succeed and seeing the results that they get that just really blesses my life when I see that happen. And as I said, I want my clients to get great at sales very, very quickly instead of taking lots of time to do it. And the main thing is really one of my, my life goals very seriously is to change the way the world looks at sales and salespeople because we have a horrible reputation and with, with good reason because of the way that sales was done for so many years. Right. And I would like to see that change. And the only way that it can change is if salespeople learn to sell in a new way that's user friendly and blesses the person that they're talking to and blesses them so that no matter whether their prospect buys or not, they both walk away from that conversation feeling great and feeling like it's been a really profitable time together. All righty. Well, that's an honorable mission um, that, that uh, to sort of get rid of that old timeshare sleazy car salesman kind of image into a new uh, people meeting people, helping each other. I like it. Exactly. <laughs> okay, Hugh, I appreciate you taking the time to be on Synergy Cafe and with the Synergy Collaborative. And uh, maybe someday we'll do another one of these things, maybe focused on a specific uh, piece of sales or something like that. So, Again, thanks for That'd taking the great. time. Thank thanks you. Thanks for having me here, Brad. I enjoyed it. Peace.